uh, Fading Gigolo. So Fading Gigolo is directed by, uh, written, written and directed by Jean, Jean Turturro. Because I said Gigolo, and it said by Jean Turturro. <laughs> went all sort of Jean. So the story is Jean Turturro yes. is uh, an ageing ladies' man who is uh, drummed into service by uh, Woody Allen, who is a bookstore owner. The bookstore is closing down. Woody Allen decides that he, you know, he needs another income stream. And Woody Allen decides that, in fact, what John Turturro should be is a gigolo and that he should be able to, to send him out to perform his wonders in the world because there are many people who would pay for services such as he could offer. Here's a clip. I am not a beautiful man. Um, did I say you were beautiful? But you have a different quality. You have a certain kind of sex appeal. Thank is, you. Mick, is Mick Jagger a beautiful man? The guy who opens his mouth to sing, it, it's a, a horror, but he's hot. Mick is hot, and that's what you have. Let me ask you a question. You look good without your clothes, right? How do you know? Because some guys just look better when they're naked. I figure you're one. What does that have to do with Mick Jagger? He's rich and he's famous. Yes, but you're sexy. Says who? Um, says me. You're a sick man. You need help. I go for help twice a week. You need a guy like Tom Ford or, or George Clooney. You're not that. You're a you're a um, a man's man in a certain way. You 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 know you're not afraid to get dirty. You get your hands dirty. You work in the plants, earth. You you with wires and and plumbing and drain pipes and bowls. You know you do disgusting work. You're not afraid. Hey, you're disgusting in a very positive way. Thank you. Now, there's basically two responses to fading sugar. The first one is you just have to say right up front that. In order to, to sort of fully embrace the movie, you have to get beyond the idea that Sharon Stone, who turns out to be Woody Allen's dermatologist, Sharon Stone says to Woody Allen, I need you to pay somebody to be involved in a menage a trois with me. And then John Turturro turns up and she says, yes, I'm going to pay for that. I mean, there is the element of male fantasy written into this is almost unget pastable if there was such That's a word good. I'm which, write which, that which, which clearly there isn't so there so all the way through this you, there is this kind of this massive egocentricity of the whole conceit which is the chanter who has written and directed a film in which he is exactly as was explained there he gets to be the um the uh, the, the the aging gigolo to whom sharon stone pays a huge amount of money and you're going OK, uh, no male fantasy wish fulfilment going on there. So if you can get that, and frankly, I can't, but if you can, then the story then moves on to this other area, which is that he starts to apply his healing hands to uh, an Hasidic widow, played incidentally by Vanessa Paradis. So again, you can see where all this is going. It's, you know, fine. Uh, where, where, and, where was it going? Well, it's going, it's John Turturro casting himself in amidst unbelievably glamorous women, as the person who is sort of bringing to their to their lives the fulfilment that they need and for which they are willing to pay huge amounts of money. I see. I'm I'm conscious of the fact that it's three thirty, Simon. So that, which is why I'm, I'm filling doing in the this blanks. Kind of, exactly, very much. So, on the basis that the premise itself is an absolutely absurd and often ridiculously intolerable male fantasy, we just put that to one side. There are many pleasures to be had, it, certainly in the conversation between J John Turturro and Woody Allen. You heard some of it. Then you laugh at the thing. I mean, actually, the funniest line in that thing is when he says, you know, you need help. I get help twice a week. So all that stuff is Woody Allen doing that Woody Allen shtick that he does. And John Turturro has a kind of, you know, the, the way he approaches his direction, there is a sort of... A uh, slightly poignant sensuality about his direction. This is stuff that he's dealt with in movies that he's, he's he's directed before, and the whole thing has this kind of you know dappled glow to it. It's a movie which it's very easy on a surface level to like and smile wryly about, but it is a film that exists in a world in which Sharon Stone will pay Woody Allen a thousand dollars because she needs John Turturro, and 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 you. You can take you can take that or leave it as you wish.